Recording in progress. Hey, everyone. So I am so excited to get to share with you Sonia Bethay Williams' journey of strategic meditation. So this is all about sharing this practice, how high performers who are out here in the industry are using the secret weapon of strategic meditation to increase their income and impact without burning out. And I, it's so important um, in my heart and on my spirit to share the stories of our members and our the, the people in our community who are getting the benefit and just to see the whole rainbow of awesome, the whole range of transformation that we have in the practice of strategic meditation. So Sonia, do you want to tell us about what's your business and industry and how long you've been in business? Yeah. Absolutely. Queen, thank you for having me again. I'm Sonia Bethe Williams. I'm the owner of Savvy Virtual Solutions. It's a virtual business management agency. I'm also a real estate investor. I'm in real estate school. Um, and let's see what else. My industry, my business, and what was the remainder? Give me two seconds here to make sure I got it. Um, and how long I've been in business. I've been in business now for about six years. Six years. Oh, wow. <laughs> six. Oh, my goodness. Lucky six. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Congratulations. So we have a multi-talented multipreneur. Um, this is so fabulous. And so can I ask you a question? Is does having not just one but multiple businesses, does it get stressful? Heck yes, very much so. Yeah. Yeah. And so as as that happens, I know for me too, like even owning my own business, like it gets, it gets stressful. And there are certain things that we reach out to, to help us deal with the stress. One of which for some of us being meditation in general, like could do you, was there a certain point that meditation in general came into your life? Like how, how did that happen? Absolutely. So I had purchased this journal um, and it talked about um, just doing your affirmations, your gratitude, using affirmations to kind of change your mood and shift your mood if you're feeling certain feelings. And it also talked about starting your day. And it said that you should meditate about three minutes in a cold shower. That was my first introduction to true meditation. And like I've always saw people do it. Um, but when I got into business for myself, and I started to hang around a lot of people who were making a lot of good money out here on these internet streets. And they were all talking about meditation. Like it was more than just affirmations and gratitude. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, I love that. And the, the cold shower in the morning, like this is like the personal growth and development, like, you know, maybe like a miracle morning kind of a situation. Yep. 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 A hundred percent. I love it. And so that, like, for so many of us, that was where we really, because, like, dealing with the stress of business ownership, we lean on the personal development, right, working on our mindset and things to, to deal with that so that we can be our best selves, so that we're, we're able to be the best in our business as well and really get the kind of return on investment that we're looking on, working on me. Like, if I'm... Um, the main person standing in my way to my business success, I better work on me so that I can develop the business, business development, personal development coming together. And so that's what I'm hearing was how you yep. came to meditation in the first place. Okay. Yep. I love it. So along the journey, at some point you experienced or a strategic meditation like there's there's this crossroads that we come to everyone in our community I found over time that we've been meditating working on ourselves developing ourselves personally working on our mindset you know trying to be the best version of yourself strongest version of yourself and then there's a crossroads where you encounter not just meditation um and the affirmations and things 
but strategic meditation. Can you tell our viewers and listeners, like, what, how did you come to that crossroads? Where did you first experience a strategic meditation? And is it different? Was it different from the type you'd been doing before? Absolutely. So I first met you, we were at a Momentum Live event. Um, and I just absolutely fell in love with you. I adored you. And I started to learn a little bit more about what you do. And I remember kind of stepping into my power, being the girl, I close deals for people who want more. If you remember that statement? And I was like, but I need to close deals for myself too. I think I said that too. And so I got into real estate and it catapulted really quickly for me. So stay going from making, you know, two to three thousand dollars a month to like having a fifty thousand dollar month a thirty thousand dollar month and but things were still happening I was still like what's going on like I'll make it and something will come up and it wasn't sticking um and I was sitting down and I was talking to Nettie and she was like I know you have your affirmations I know you have your gratitude and I know you love your bath with your flowers in it, but I need you to talk to Victoria. Um, at that moment, life just kept life in. I've gotten, I went through a bad relationship and I found myself on the phone with you. And at the time, I let life life and I didn't move forward, but I was invited to an ABC meeting. And it, I got a little taste of it there with the tomatoes. And then I got a taste of it at a live momentum event. And at that event, I closed on a house. And at that moment, I said, I'm signing up with Victoria today. And I did, if you remember that moment. I signed up. And I went to my first strategic meditation. I did not know what to expect. It was called the Visionary Shaman Circle. So when you hear shaman, you think of Indians and everybody dancing around the fire. I did not know what to expect. Everybody was tight-lipped in the community. Like, you just got to experience it for you. I can appreciate that. I came to my first meditation. And it was absolutely beautiful. It was a space for me to use my imagination, dream, no judgment, getting downloads and downloads through other people. It was beautiful. I will never forget it. After that, I signed a big, big, big client, y'all. And we'll talk more about that as the questions progress. <laughs> oh my oh, I'm so proud and I'm so joyful to get to walk down like, memory lane of all these wins oh my word oh my goodness yes so just for those who are listening so we met at a business um like a a business mastermind and coaching event called momentum live with Nettie Owens Sapari uh, solutions and Sapari consulting where I speak and present um and then had a little bit of an introduction to me there, right? As the as the guest presenter. And then you you also like we we got connected. Then you came to our abundant business circle, ABC, which is our monthly uh, meeting, had a little taste of a strategic meditation there for the first time with one of our um, communities practices we call tomatoes. Um, which is an imagination exercise. We're not going to tell anybody. You have to experience it to come and see what is this tomatoes, but it's an, imag it's an imagination exercise for creativity and innovation for business owners and leaders. So from there, then at the next, because I speak at every Momentum Live, that was the one where you really got to experience it and then sign up and come into the community and it catapulted your sales. This is fabulous. So I love being able to celebrate that journey. And so, okay, and you were here before um, we got our community 
off of social media, right? Off of like, now we have our separate app community on the school platform. So before that, we our community was housed between social, like Facebook and Zoom, but now we're off um, social media, which is much quieter. Um, how do you like the community now that it's hosted on the app and off and away from social media? Like, do, do you use the app like, what time of day like give me all the because you were here before the the app and the community off of social media oh uh, yeah yes so i watched it i'm like to call it the evolution so i watched it evolve from visionary shaman circle to which was in another system which i will not name names but we were in that system and it was a vault um and then she was like i'm gonna get an app and i was like yes you are Oh, am I believing you? And she got the school app. And this is where she houses every single one of her meditations from over the last, is it 14 years? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. 14 years. So 14 years worth of content. It's like the Netflix for high performance professionals. She has trainings in there and one of her trainings I've done personally and love and rave about. And I told everybody when you're struggling with sales is to take Victoria's sales training. She teaches you how to build your offer. She teaches you how to do soulful sales. Sales doesn't have to be sticky. People have a bad stigma. They think of car salesmen, insurance salesmen, sleazy. And it's not like that at all. Beautiful. It's a beautiful process. It's held. She taught me how to slow down and take the credit card number, y'all. Mm. It's so sexy. Um, so <laughs> yes. But I love it. And I can go in any time of the day versus mindless scrolling on social media. I can go into the school app and I can listen to a meditation while I'm cleaning. It's called active visioning. Yep. Um, <laughs> which she taught me because I was like, do I always have to throw my eyes closed? She's like, no, you can active do it and you can active journal too. So little thing, got to check it out though to see what it's really like. And everything is there. If you need something, you go look for it. If you're feeling stuck, if you're feeling blocked, it's a meditation for that. Um, <laughs> if you want to feel the love, it's a meditation for that. If you need peace, it's a meditation for that. Like it is something for everyone. And I love it. Yay. I'm so grateful. And uh, this like, this is why we we moved off of social media because of the mindless scrolling. It steals your time. And what we're doing strategic meditation for is so that you are more productive so that you're able to get more done so that you can close more deals. Not that you get sucked in right to somebody's cat video, somebody's making a food, someone's mad about something. Like we want to use the relationship with the device that we have. Right. And we want to use that instead to amplify our effectiveness rather than to distract from getting things done. And that's what strategic meditation is all about. And so with that, like now that you've been in our community and doing the practice of strategic meditation for quite some time, like what's the impact been like? Has the community impacted you in any way, personally, professionally? Like, what have you seen the benefits and the results um, in your business from being a part of our community? You know, the, so the practice, by the way, for everyone's uh, just a sec. Sorry, <laughs> like I'm asking a billion questions, but my spirit guides told me to just qualify this for people who don't understand what we're talking about. So strategic meditation is the exercise that we do. And the name of the community is Be Visionary. So 
strategic meditation is an exercise in practicing relaxed focus strategically before taking a targeted action in our businesses. That's what strategic meditation is. It's not just chilling out, right, and tuning out. Uh, no, we're, we're like getting our reps and we're doing the exercise to relax and get focused first before taking targeted money generating, right, sales and revenue generating actions in our businesses. That's what strategic meditation is. And the title of the community, right, we're called the Be Visionary Movement because this is a movement of conscious entrepreneurs who believe in the importance of their energy. They believe in the importance of maintaining that because when they feel better, they noticed that they do better. And that comes out in dollars and cents. So I just wanted to give that qualification. Um, and then coming back to then, with that being said, what has been the impact of you being part of our community for some time? Has it impacted your life, your business? Uh, like what results or benefits have you seen? Oh my, a lot. So let's see. I, within my first month, I think I made like $10,000. Um, I signed up and she paid in full. It wasn't like a payment plan. She paid in full. I'll never forget that. I made my payment and literally like a week later after I did the meditation and I'm like feeling empowered, it was the easiest $10,000 I'd ever made in my life. From that, I was able to get like focused and receive downloads for her. And that helped my client make $100,000 within 24 hours. Wow. So that is a huge one. Um, and I credit a lot of strategic meditation with that. So then that was the first one. Then I signed on my second client who after about two months of us working together and building out his entire program he made back his whole entire investment in one lot wow. and he was making payments so he was making payments and then he freaking had a huge launch and he is still using it to this day and he's made on upwards to like 125 to 130,000 in his program so, and that's me using this strategic meditation, getting the downloads and being able to, to kind of guide my clients on what they needed to do. And it worked. So that's two things. Those are big, huge wins there, right? But also I learned to heal a lot of my childhood trauma mm -hmm. through meditation with Victoria. Um. I stopped meeting the same person over and over and I'm now married. Victoria met me single. Um, <laughs> she met me single and she also knows me as a married woman and a mom too. So that's another thing that I got from this. I have so many friends that I've met in this community whom I love, who love me, who we support each other through ups and downs, in and out, I am grateful. Like, I literally have friends all over the world thanks to these communities. So thank you, Victoria. Um, <laughs> okay, so hold on. Let's see if there's anything else. Um, I also found a community full of people who are sensitive like me to energy who unapologetically will say this isn't for me and know that we have a community full of people who embrace us. Because yes, you have your friends from back in the day and they're at different points in their lives and you don't expect them to understand the ebbs and flows of business, but to have friends in business is a whole different ball game. Mm. Like I have friends I can make money with. Mm. I have friends... <laughs> that I can brainstorm with I have friends that you couldn't tell me that we haven't known each other a lifetime because of this community so again thank you queen Yay! oh my gosh this is 
my face is gonna cramp from smiling so hard i'm so joyful uh, and i feel like this this is a strange question to ask given how much we're celebrating um so for the in investment like this this community news flash to everyone watching is not free it's not free it comes out to about um you know, a small cup of coffee a day, uh, if if you were calculating. So with that, is it worth the investment? Like, would you be willing to say that it's worth a cup of coffee a day for you and your business? It's worth more than a cup of coffee a day. Okay, tell me. So... <laughs> For $97 a month, you're getting hundreds and thousands of dollars worth of knowledge in such a way that is so profound to implement. Just being in this community alone, you will win. You will win. I watch so many people evolve into sales goddesses. Else. making money in different industries simply from being in this community so is it worth the investment heck yes can she up the price absolutely she uh, wins <laughs> so like it's this is the thing because when people are able to see that when you make time for yourself, by the way, y'all, the woman who just came in the door is another member of our community. Uh, can I just say, I love that y'all live together. <laughs> like there's that much love and that much friendship in this community that there's enough where you would feel safe having babies and families together, like literally. So just gonna acknowledge that. But with that, like the fact that it pays not just 10x, right, but it could very well pay back 100 or 1000x for yourself. And it makes you better for your clients is what I'm hearing. Is that is that what you're saying, Sonia? Absolutely. Absolutely. Like it feels as I say it. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, a thousand percent. So would you recommend this for other entrepreneurs out there? And especially who would you say that this community is for and maybe who it's not for? Absolutely. So who it's for is that high performing entrepreneur or employee. Because if you are high performing, you are in a sales position that can pull you a hundred different ways having to think on your feet. We forget to think about our body. And this is the community for you. This community is not for people who don't want to do the, do the inside work, right? Who or negative it's not for you if you don't have tough skin because sometimes victoria gonna tell you about yourself in a loving and beautiful way but you have to be able to say you know what you're absolutely right and take action you know when you get these downloads and it's not just from victoria it may be from me it may be from Andrea, who's another person that I adore. Um, it may be from Shireen. Take that advice and go with it. I see people making money every day. Mm -hmm. And it's not even about the money, making friends too. So, <laughs> so yeah. but it's you you have to have the heart. You have to want to go. If you don't like woo, you don't need to be in the community. It's okay. We love you. But, you know, it may be a sprinkle of woo there and it's not for everybody. And we get that. It's not for, <laughs> it's not for 
the unconscious, the the people who are not awake in the world, who understand that it's more than news, it's more than articles. It's about going within and figuring out what's right for you. If you're closed off to that, it's not going to be. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is this just a women's community? No. <laughs> my husband, my husband loves Victoria, y'all. That he adores her. He we sit on the beach and do her meditation. So no, it's not. And he a manly man. Um, we've had some amazing men in this community, amazing entrepreneurs, high level entrepreneurs. And I I love seeing the men come into the community and just embrace it, embrace it and and pour into all of us. I love it and I appreciate it. Yeah, a hundred percent. Sometimes uh, because I lead meditation. Thank you for saying that because sometimes people misunderstand that because I'm female, I I lead um look it's only I only work with women. And when we get to hear the visions and the intuition and the healing of our brothers in business and get to celebrate the wins of our brothers in business is just so magnificent. So for anyone who's watching, um, it's not just for women. Like this is a community that receives the whole community, because if you're in business and you're someone who's intuitive and spiritual and wants to leverage that as a strength to drive sales and revenue, this is a community for you. So Sonia, do you have any final thoughts, any messages of love to our sisters and brothers in business um, who may have been in your before, right? Before discovering uh, meditation or even before discovering strategic meditation in particular where they have it as two separate things is there any final thoughts final messages you have for them what are you waiting for don't be afraid even if you need to talk to me to talk through the process as a program graduate I'm here for you and I will help you and guide you through that decision and let you know that it is an amazing decision and you need to get off the fence and do it before that price go up because I'm pretty sure it may be coming soon, baby. Um, <laughs> so don't don't stand on the fence. Just just go for it. There's nothing to lose. There's so much to gain in this community, and it's such an honor to be able to give Victoria her flowers now. Aww, thank you queen thank you for your love your support your encouragement of me and our entire community um you're really a pillar of inspiration warmth um and joy in our community i'm so thankful for you and for everyone who's watching if you would like to learn more about how you can join our be visionary movement on school app go to skool.com forward slash B visionary movement. That's B E visionary movement. All is one word. And you'll find all the information there. It should be in the description or in a comment below um, this video. And make sure you show Sonia some love. Find her on all the socials. Sonia Bethe Williams. And we'll see you in the next one. Mwah! Bye, everyone.